today I am at the lovely Marsh Farm Fishery in Surrey and I'm here to target the tench and large crucian carp that reside in these lakes. I'm not looking to be purist about how I go about catching them because this may be my only visit this year so I'm going to be ruthless and use efficient modern methods to ensure that I have the best chance of catching as many fish as I can. The first job before I even tackle up is to mix some ground bait and apply it to the swim. I'm mixing two different ground baits together, a krill based one and a spod mix that contains lots of tiny items of food that will keep the fish grubbing about. I'm also adding some liquid foods that will enhance the pulling power of the mix. Adding a few grains of corn and some pellets will give me my hook bait options. Tackle up out of sight and allow the swim to settle. It's going to be really warm and sunny today and I'm going to be glad of the shade as well. As I have already mentioned, I'm not looking to be purist in my approach today. I want to catch as many fish as I possibly can in the most efficient way possible. So if the sight of bite alarms and rod pods offends you, please look away now. Hello, where did you come from? Taking advantage of my hand washing for your breakfast? Yeah, thanks for that mate. You're welcome. I'm using one and a quarter pound test curve rods, eight pound mainline, and a six pound hook link. Although I'm fishing at close range, I'll still be using small method feeders. Crucian carp can be wary feeders, and I'll miss less bites than if I was to float fish. For hook baits, I'm using some tiny little 6mm wafters. These are going to be hair rigged onto a 3 or 4 inch hook link.
It's not long before a steady stream of crucians and tench are coming to the net. Nothing big yet, but they're all trashing my hook links. So, I have to tie up a few more to keep up. Yes, that is a train you can hear going past. I'm fishing on the railway bank here at Marsh. It's a little bit noisy now and again, but to be honest with you, the train doesn't really bother me. And it certainly doesn't seem to bother the fish. They're obviously used to it. So as you can see, I'm hair rigging these little pellet wafters. I use a fine maggot needle to pierce the pellets and mount them on the hair. I'm knotless knotting some monofilament to a size 14 barbless hook. I then use a figure of eight loop knot to make the hook link easily changeable. I had a great day at Marsh, but it was very tiring. What with the early start, a boat crossing and a 45 minute drive to the fishery. And then, at times, I was almost unable to keep two rods in the water. Such was the enthusiasm of the fish towards my approach. But of course, I'm not complaining. 
The lakes are very pretty despite being a commercial fishery and the quality of the fishing and the stock is very good. Unfortunately I wasn't able to break my £3 target for the Crucian Carp but I did come close with the best one being £2 10 ounces. A good specimen Crucian in anyone's book. The tench got bigger too as the day wore on and the best of those went £5 4 ounces. The Crucians were actually pretty well spawned out, so perhaps if I return a little earlier in the season next time, I will catch them at their top weights. For now though, it's onwards and upwards to the next adventure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to leave a like to let me know you enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing if you'd like to follow my adventures.